Let's start by balancing a few equations. We're going to leave the oxygen for last because it is the only element up here. And let's just start putting some coefficients in so that things balance. Here we have two carbons on the reactant side, so let's put a coefficient of 2 right there so the carbons balance. Now on the reactant side I'm seeing two hydrogens, and way on the right, on the product side, I'm seeing two hydrogens. That looks good. So now let's count up the oxygen atoms on the product side. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Unfortunately there is no whole number coefficient that can be put here that will give us 5 oxygen atoms. So here's how we fix that. This ratio, and I'm going to show this with my laser pointer, this ratio of one of those to two of those to one of those is a good ratio. It worked, but it's too small. So I'm going to double it to two and four and two. Now let's recount the oxygen atoms on the right side. Four times two is eight, plus another two, that's ten. So we're going to put a five right there and we're done. Let's try this one. This is the combustion of propane used in gas grills. We have three carbons on the left side, so I'm going to put a coefficient of three there. We have eight hydrogens on the left side, so on the far right, let's make that a four. So our carbons and our hydrogens balance now, and let's count up oxygen on the right side. Three times two is six, plus another four, that's ten, so how about a five right there? This is the combustion of butane. Again, we're going to leave oxygen for last because it's the only element. So on the product side, let's put a 4 there to balance the carbons. We'll put a 5 here to balance the hydrogens. So everything balances. Everything is okay except for this oxygen so far. In other words, this ratio you can see with my laser pointer. 1 to 4 to 5. That's a good ratio. It works. Let's count up oxygens on the right side. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. That's an odd number, so I can't put a whole number coefficient right there. So what we're going to do is this 1 to 4 to 5 ratio, we're simply going to double it to 2 to 8 to 10. Now let's recount oxygen atoms on the right side. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 10, that's 26. You can see a pattern here. In each case, in these top three equations, we've started with a compound that has only carbon and hydrogen in it and reacts with oxygen to form some amount of carbon dioxide and some amount of water. This is a reaction pattern that you should know. The complete combustion of a hydrocarbon, which is a substance that has only hydrogen and carbon, or of a compound containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, such as methanol, is going to yield carbon dioxide and water. So there are two reaction patterns there that you should know. Here's another reactivity pattern. Any of the alkali metals reacting with water will yield the metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. If we choose the alkali metal rubidium, this is what the equation would look like. And the coefficients will be 2, 2, 2, and 1 hydrogen gas. So any alkali metal, when reacted with water, will follow this reaction pattern. Two of the several types of reactions, combination or synthesis reactions, are ones in which simpler substances combine to form more complex substances. So a combination or a synthesis reaction basically starts with simpler things, A and B, and forms something more complex, AB, or starts with A, B, and C, and forms the more complex thing, A, B, C, and so on. One example of a synthesis reaction would be sodium reacting with chlorine gas to form sodium chloride. We have here two elements combining to form something more complex, a compound. And you can see that that equation is balanced. A decomposition reaction is essentially a synthesis reaction run backwards. Complex substances are broken down into simpler ones. Here are some basic patterns. You can see that in a decomposition reaction, we always start with something more complex, and we end up with something simpler. Here's an example of a decomposition reaction. Lithium chlorate, when lithium is bonded to things, it has a 1 plus charge. There's the formula for the chlorate ion. The formula for lithium chlorate will be LiClO3. 
lithium chloride will have this formula, LiCl, and of course oxygen is a diatomic element, so it's in the form O2. To balance that equation, the coefficients need to be 2, 2, 3. Here's another decomposition reaction. If we break water down via electrolysis into its component gases, hydrogen and oxygen, both of which are diatomic, that's another decomposition reaction. Let's summarize some simple reaction patterns. One, when we say complete combustion, we mean two things. One, oxygen gas, O2, is a reactant. And two, the other thing or things is or are completely consumed. That is, O2 is the excess reactant. More on this later. The complete combustion of either a hydrocarbon or a compound containing only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen yields the products carbon dioxide and water. Alkali metals react with water to yield the metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And four, synthesis reactions begin with simple substances and yield more complex substances. Decomposition reactions break complex ones into simpler ones.